I found some pigeons here, look. So, I've got to try to put some food down. I don't know why they're hanging around here. Maybe someone chucked some pigeon food out for them. But there's some white ones here. I'm at Pope Town at the moment. I'm trying to get my pigeon nuts and just don't want to scare them too much, you know. So, here they come. So, let's see how many pigeons we can get here. I'm going to sit on the wall here. So, who can we see here? Look at this. Look at that beautiful one. Look. Look, he's chasing that one. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm at Pokestown. I just got off the station. Look, I just found them. I mean, there was a bird loving man I filmed. He was fil filming them there, over there. And they were all sitting up there early on. So look at that dirty one, look how filthy he is, filthy pigeon, dirty pigeon, <laughs> he really needs a wash doesn't he, he needs a good bath, <laughs> that's funny, so more pigeons, that one looks like Darth Vader, look at that little one, that's a newborn isn't it, look at that, beautiful pigeon, We've got a dark black towel. He's chasing her. He's chasing her. So yeah. Oh look, look, look. More coming down. So I found a nice place to feed them. <laughs> yeah. Look at that one. Looks like Angel, that one. He's up chasing around too. That's a little one, isn't it? It's just been born, that one. A few months old. So, yeah, I'm going to get to try to get to know these pigeons in the future. And I want to go to a place maybe later on today. Christchurch, I want to go, maybe. I'm thinking about it anyway. And I'm going to go to a place called Limington. Um, Christchurch, there's lots of swans there. I tell you, um, like Limington, all right, it's sort of like on the south coast of England, and it's got a few swans. Christchurch's got more swans, and if you go further along, Weymouth is Swan World. It's got black, oh, look at that one puffed up. It's got black swans up there and white swans. It's a beautiful one there, look at that one. It's got a bit of colour on the back, isn't it? Normally they've got colour on the... Oh, they have got colour on the back as well, but... Yeah, really beautiful pigeon. That filthy pigeon there, look how dirty he is. You know, had a bath for a month by the look of that. <laughs> and that one's chasing that one still. <laughs> There's some up there, look. There's that one up there. Dark eyes. You might have been parky. <laughs> so yeah, don't know why. Look at how white that one is there. I mean that one's a bit dirty, and I think that was a male because you can tell by the feathers at the end. So they're a bit faded if, if they're males. So that one looks a bit like Pinky. I mean Pinky my hometown I'm not seen for a while. So that one's a newborn. Gonna have to get a name for every one of them. That one looks like Batman. That one looks like Darth Vader over there. Gonna have to find a name. That one's really beautiful. That one looks a bit like Troy from the Isle of Wight, that one. Not interested in food. I know, the noise they make, eh? I love it. Dirty pigeon. We're gonna have to call that dirty. <laughs> yeah. Really filthy. I don't know it got so filthy like that. <laughs> the most dirtiest pigeon I've ever seen that is in history.
So yeah, I'm pleased to see them, you know. I'm going to have to come back and... Because it is good fun feeding them. I did expect to see more, because last week when I came here there was more here. So I don't know whether all of them are gone. Look at that one up there. Camera needs oil in. Beautiful, aren't they? So, these are Boscombe pigeons. I just got a Boscombe train station, and I thought it was really beautiful, you know, pigeons going all the way down. Um, absolutely beautiful. You know, I think, you know, paintbrush can make a place look so beautiful can't it you know like some are anyway you know and I thought that was really good art I think it's one of the best train stations I've been to actually and I think they should do that to every train station paint them and make it make them look beautiful so let's get some more nuts out <laughs> I love the sound they make and there's Mr Dirty <laughs> I'll just drop my bag why so maybe like if I keep coming back to feed them, that was a door shutting, you see. Someone's coming out their door up there. And they heard it. Like I said, they got really good hearing. And any door slamming they will fly off, you know. So if I keep coming in the future, now and again, you know, they might come on me, you know, like like Red Red Ring does, Mr. Red Ring does, you know. Look at that big one there. Like I say, you can tell when they're a male by looking at their tails, I think. You know, like that one. Look at the state of the tail. Look at it. Really worn out where that one is quite nice and not been scraping on the floor, if you sort of mean, not worn out. Yeah, <laughs> look at that beautiful new one up there. So that's a new one, I think, out of all of them. So some more beautiful pigeons. I'm going to have to come back here again very soon, because I love it. Find out where the other pigeons all are. So I've run out of nuts now, so I'm going to say goodbye to them. Mr. Dirty. <laughs> Bilby, isn't it? Yeah. You got Bilby here. Yeah. Absolutely filthy. Looks like he's been <laughs> bathing in the mud. <laughs> I don't know what to call that one there. It looks like Mr. Grey Wings a bit. But Mr. Grey Wings has got really grey wings. He's <laughs> walking around like a chicken. Look at that one. You're probably not in no hurry. <laughs> Alright, got some more, just a little bit more. Just found some in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to call it a day now, I think, and come back later. I'm going to go and buy some pigeon nuts now, I think, and things. Have a good day and love all birds.